What's up guys? I got another video for you today. Today we're going to look at some Hobby Ace DYS SE1806 Space Edition motors. These were provided by Hobby Ace in return for an unbiased review of the motors. Let's take them out of the box and see what you get in each one and uh, give you my opinion while we're taking them out. Now these are our new design. The SE does stand for Space Edition. The motors are branded with Space, Ed space Edition as well. So I'll just take them all out so you can see. These are counterclockwise and clockwise and on the bottom it'll show which is which. Camera's not focusing too well. We'll just pull two out. So as you can see, you get nylon lock nuts and you also get two length, two sizes of screws. M3 by five millimeter and M3 by seven millimeter. So the longer ones you can use if you're, you have a thicker main body plate for your frame or if you're using some type of motor guard so you can use those to go through the frame and the motor guard into the motor. So you get some brushed aluminum with an anodized red lock nuts. You get two of them in each one and those were for the clockwise. The counterclockwise includes the same lock nylon lock nuts but uh, let me open them here you can see but they are they're black it's the brushed aluminum and then they're anodized black so we'll pull one of the motors out here so you can look at it I really like these motors they're balanced really well I have uh, tested a couple of them on a different set I got a couple days ago as you can see they are branded with DYS branding my camera's not focusing too well, but it says uh, Space Edition SE1806-2550 kV. There are no bullet connectors soldered on the end, which is fine. Get the right one for it. I really like these uh, extra long spindles, so you can use any prop you really want to use with them. Um, but you do get a spare nylon lock nut in each kit, so you, each motor comes with two lock nuts and uh, two sets of screws. Here's the bottom. Now these are a new design. The bell housing is updated. It, uh, it's, it provides a little bit better cooling. So at higher RPMs, the motor does stay a little bit cooler. Um, this is using an N52 magnet. Um, with a 0.2 millimeter lamination for the windings inside. Uh, this will give you about 1.1 kilograms of thrust and you should usually use around a 50-45 prop but people are using different style props. It is a hollow shaft with you know the threaded shaft uh, and these were designed specifically for an FPV style racing quad. Um, so overall for the, for the value these are great motors. Um, I did run a couple of them at, at, at with a servo tester at a full RPM for about 15 minutes and they did get a little bit warm but that was because it was stationary on a test bench so there wasn't much airflow. Um, I did test these on a QAV 210 style frame and it was more than enough power to throw the thing out in the air, flip it, roll it, do whatever you want. Um, so right now for the price for the four motors, it's an outstanding deal. The quality, the workmanship of these. If you've ever had a DYS style motor, you, you know what I'm referring to. They're just balanced really well. The bearings are outstanding. They feel so smooth. And uh, the response time is just outstanding. So, But that's what you get. It's just a quick little unboxing and uh, little review. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And uh, I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Alright guys, have a good day.